Hey, what's up gamers? It's Oscar and Deshaun with OK Gamers and today's video is going to be about a special event coverage on Tokyo and Tulsa. So this is my first year to go to Tokyo and Tulsa and I was extremely excited that I got to go on there on behalf of OK Gamers. Which is super awesome by the yes. way. We were able to get you guys all the coverage about everything that was going on in Tokyo and Tulsa. There was a ton of people. Sure, yeah. <laughs> but first we went to the artist row where a bunch of artists can go up and set up their work of art normally in the anime genre and just kind of display their work to all the people at Tokyo and Tulsa. Which is also really awesome because I mean these are people that get to display their yeah. creativity and all the hard work that they put into creating all these original pieces for the most part. And they're really good. Right next to the artist hall there is the merchandising room. Yeah. Yes, if you ever wanted a pink, fluffy plushie, you can find it in this merchant room. I mean, there was Tasty Peach, I think. Tasty Peach, Tasty Peach was, was one of the ones that I seen right in the beginning. There was a really cool steampunk type little booth called Steam Age. Thought it was really awesome. Like, just a variety of things that you can get yeah. in that merchandising room. Right? From plushies to steampunk merchandise, swords. Ocarinas um, of Time. Ocarinas. <laughs> Blankets, I mean, you name it, it's gonna be there. Do you have a favorite character? It's probably on something oh, in that convention. Yeah, you find a little wall scroll, it's gonna be there. And then after that, into the gaming room, and that's where OK Gamers is at. Of course. Just a huge variety of different gaming. Yeah. PC, console, things are being streamed on projectors. You got an arcade, LARPing, laser tag, all kinds. battle pots, I mean, everything. If you went to the convention and you didn't stop in the gaming room, you missed out. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like a, a big, big push for that ticket price for me, I would pay that just to go into the gaming Yeah, room. for sure. I mean, and then being able to see the rest of the con, that's oh, yeah. cool. But I mean, for me, a very, it makes, if you do go to these conventions, make sure you check out the gaming room. A lot of things to see, and you can spend a lot of time and uh, maybe get lost in, in there, so. We actually got a chance to catch the cosplay contest. Uh, we actually got a pretty good seat for the, the, the footage that we got. Seen some really, really cool cosplays. I mean, there was, I would say, around 70 people that were like cosplaying in the contest. If not more. Yeah, it was. There was a lot of people. Yeah, it was It was really cool. They had some really good ones. Um, the place was packed out. Like, yeah. I mean. Oh, for sure. All across heads. I mean, I'm pretty. They made an announcement that they were able to fit everybody in, which was awesome because that thing was too capacity. Yeah, it was standing room. Yeah. It was, it was standing room. There was I was standing room. Yeah. And then there were other main events that they had. They had yeah. a band called Meteoroid. I believe that is how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if that's not. Then they have a rave, which is super awesome. Mm -hmm. Those all go on the main events with, with the opening ceremony, closing ceremony, things like that. Those events were super, super awesome. Yeah. And honestly, just seeing all the different people in their cosplay just walking around the kitchen. Yeah was probably one of my favorite things. I'm like, hey, I know this is gonna be a little weird, <laughs> but can I get a small clip of you so that I can show everyone how awesome you guys look and all the hard work that you put into it, like. Yeah, it's go. really cool that like a lot of cons have started, like they've gotten bigger because more people like to cosplay now. Mm -hmm. Cause the, the cosplay community has just shot up in just recent years. Just There's more people getting comfortable with yeah. it. And we're so glad that Tokyo and Tulsa is having these things. Yep. I mean, they've been doing it for several years and I just I just like to see the numbers get bigger and bigger because everything was great. Get to meet a lot of different kind of people. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video coverage we got of Tokyo and Tulsa. If you liked the video, slap us that thumbs up. If you really want to show us some loves, give us that share on the video. And as always, we'll see you here next Wednesday here on the OK Gamers YouTube channel. But until then, Sit. When we got out. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do?